What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Join Ninja Nation, the fastest growing baseball community on YouTube. So remember, hit subscribe, and without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Spencer Strider. Strider struggled with command in Coors Field, which isn't unusual, but he did have these vicious sliders. He gave up only one run and two hits and had five Ks and eight swings and misses on these sliders, but none on his upper 90s touching 100 fastball, which should explain why he threw a little more sliders this outing. And they were nasty. Matt Swarmer also threw some nasty sliders. He had five strikeouts and six innings, giving up only one run. And he has this great leg kick, which is straight out of the Monty Python Ministry of Silly Walk skit. Someday I'm going to form a Ministry of Silly Windups. Dylan Cease had these wicked sliders. Didn't have his greatest command in walk seven, but he did have five Ks. He was outdueled by Drew Rasmussen, who had this dirty cutter sword and gave up no runs in seven innings with only two strikeouts. Luis Severino was absolutely dominant. He had 10 strikeouts, giving up no runs and only one hit in seven innings. His changeup, slider, cutter, and fastball were all working. Here's an overlay of his fastball and slider that shows you how tough that combo is to hit. And I thought this overlay was very educational because everybody was yelling at Javi Baez for swinging at a cutter way out of the zone. But when you overlay it with Severino's fastball, you can see what Javi was doing. He was basically guessing that the cutter was a fastball, and it wasn't, so he looked bad. But looking bad never stopped Javi Baez. I love Nasty Nestor taking in the game in his bucket hat. This is peak male form. Don't question it, it just is. It also reminded me, I need to make some Pitching Ninja bucket hats. Zach Wheeler had another solid outing. He had nine strikeouts in six innings. His ERA is now 3.14. And he relied on his mix of overpowering fastballs and nasty sliders. Nick Pavetta had his beautiful knuckle curve working. He gave up no runs in seven innings and only two hits and had seven Ks. Ruan C. Contreras continued to be electric. I mean, look at this stuff. He had eight strikeouts and five and two-thirds scoreless innings and was just filthy. He's only 22 years old, and his ERA on the season is now 1.93. Mackenzie Gore, who's only 23 years old, was completely dominant. He had 10 strikeouts and six innings, giving up only three hits. His ERA stands at 1.5. That's how dominant he has been this year. Just an overpowering fastball and mean off-speed stuff. He pitches way beyond his years. He was matched up against Aaron Ashby, who was also really filthy. Ashby had nine strikeouts, and look at the movement on his pitches. Both his changeup, his fastball, and his slider. But this elevated two-seamer, this was insane. This might be one of the filthiest pitches you will see all year. That thing just takes off like a helicopter and breaks away from Voight like it owes him money. Just absolutely disgusting. And here's that alien two-seamer overlaid with an elevated breaking ball from Ashby. I mean, just good freaking luck on that pitch. Completely alien UFO stuff. My filthiest starter yesterday, that was Jose Barrios. Barrios had 13 strikeouts in seven innings, and when he's on, the movement of his pitches is incredible. Here is a sinker with 25 inches of run. Yep, 25 inches of run. That is nuts. And here's a curveball with 23 inches of horizontal break. I mean, this stuff is pure cartoon-like. It would not be realistic if it was in MLB The Show. It is so ridiculous. Here's an overlay of a sinker and curveball, and you can see why that's so tough to hit. But actually, just looking at the movement on these pitches shows you why it's so tough to hit. It is insane. Now on to my filthiest relievers. Colin McHugh, he looks all the way back and had these wicked sliders. Tanner Houck had this filthy slider and sinker. 
Scott Efros was nasty again, and I thought this overlay showed how well his stuff plays together. Here's his sinker and slider, and yeah, you're going to take an L against those pitches. Clay Holmes had this insane 98 mile an hour sinker. He now has 24 consecutive appearances, giving up no runs, and his ERA is down to .34. I think I'm going to give him the nickname Sherlock, like Shore Lock, because when he comes in, it's a sure lock. He has been money each and every time out. Liam Hendricks picked up his 15th save on this dirty slider and, of course, had his game-ending insane dance. My filthiest pitch from a reliever? That was this wraparound slider by Kyle Crick. Look where this pitch ends up. That's 21 inches of horizontal break and just pure filth. And now, my pitching ninja moment of zen. This may be the worst strike call in recent history. At what point did this pitch ever look like a strike to you? Oh my goodness. I mean, there's low and in, and there's this. I think that could be the worst call I've seen all season.